each other so deeply that I ask you this, sweetheart. Why should we quarrel ever? Why can't we be enough clever? Never to Jeff, thank you. Sue, thank you. Yeah, uh, I was, we've been working on, um, you know, we're trying to do little things to uh, make the site 
well, I want to say more convenient for all of you, but it obviously didn't work that way for a couple of days, you know, but we are. And then you see at the top of it, there's social, there's social media sharing buttons. So um, I would like for you to, you know, as I'm going to announce as we move through the service, that people reach out to people and say live, a Shabbat service right now. Uh, we're going to do Yizkur tonight, you know, and um, in such a way I'm hoping that we, uh, you know, internally, our, just Sim Shalom can help reach out to the greater community. Thanks for saying I sound, uh, I sound good tonight. Thank you, Jeff. I feel pretty good today. Um, oh, and sweet girl, thank you very much. Wow. Thank you, sweet girl. You're a sweet girl. You're very sweet. All right. So let me do something else for you right now. How is, uh, how's the login thing? Because did, did that work out for everybody? I mean, I mean, looks like a regular group. When you, when you got to the, the video thing, you just put in your name and your email, right? And it just works, which is, uh, which is a kind of a cool thing. For, for us. I'm going to do a song for you now, uh, a little thing called uh, Fever that um, Peggy Lee recorded, Elvis recorded, and about a gazillion other people. Never know how much I love you. Kiss me. Fever when you hold me tight. Fever in the morning, yeah, fever all through the night. Sun lights up the daytime, moon lights up. treat you right, you give them your fever, when you kiss me, fever when you hold me tight, fever, in the morning, fever all through the night, Romeo loved Juliet, Juliet she fell when he put his arms around her He said, Julie, baby, oh my flame You give me fever When we kisseth Fever with thy flame in youth Fever I'm on fire Fever, yeah, I burn for soon Captain Smith and Pocahontas Had a very mad affair When her daddy tried to kill him She said, Daddy, baby, don't you dare He gives me fever With his kisses, fever when he holds me tight Fever, I'm his missus, yeah daddy won't you treat him right To my story Well here's the point that I have made Chicks were born to give cats fever 
be it Fahrenheit or centigrade, you give me fever. When you kiss them, fever when you live and learn. Fever till you sizzle, but what a lovely way. Yeah, fever, and you, Sim Shalomers, you give me fever. Yes, indeed. Um, all right. So, so when you and when you have to, when you give us the email, you don't have to. You still don't have to like have a UStream account. We just get the email. Who said they gave, gave me your fake email? Nice, nice. Thank you. All right. So let me do another song for you. Hmm. How about? How about? Hmm. I'll do an original. Though I may have a flair. Drama and such. I acted the fool, and I miss you so much. I apologize for hurting you. I'm sorry, and what can I do? I'm a slave to your kiss. I'm a pawn to your rook. I'm the guy done you wrong in a paperback book. I apologize for making you say you never loved me anyway. I don't blame you at all for telling me lies, and my darling, I apologize. I'm sorry for all the stupid things I've said. Won't you realize for me, my love? For me, you are the only one. Won't you text me back? Make a call. I'm begging you. I'll take the fall. I'm a wreck. That's one thing that nobody denies. And my darling, I apologize.
sorry for all the stupid things I've said and done Won't you realize for me, my love For me, you are the only one Won't you text me back Make a call I'm begging you I'll take a fall I'm a wreck, that's one thing No one denies And my darling, I am a Yes, you are. Who said that? Now, Barbara. Excellent. G see, you you are listening. I could have I could have said, "Won't you take me back?" But I went for "Text me back," just for the reasons that you said. I'm trying to drag you into the 21st century <laughs> and be a little different. All right, great. Tucson Jim, how are you, sweet girl, Barbara Sue? Uh, Tucson Jim. Uh, all, all the Rabbi, Rabbi Mark, Rabbi L.T., is that Mark in, um, um, uh, Mark Getman? Is that, is that you? Okay, um, and Tal Nachman, Tal Nachman, sounds like an Israeli name to me, Tal. All right, I'm going to do, um, I'm going to do this song because it's true, it's very true. Let's see if I can do the verse. Every time I look down on this timeless town, whether blue or gray be her skies, whether uh, loud in her cheers or whether soft in her tears, more and more do I realize that. in the springtime I love Paris in the fall I love Paris in the winter when it sizzles I love Paris in the summer when it sizzles I love Paris every moment every moment of the year I love Paris why oh why do I love Paris because my love is here Paris. 
I love Paris. Shabbat shalom, ladies and gentlemen. What do we have? Whoa, okay, we have time for maybe one more song. And that was I Love Paris. How about this one? Hmm. Those happy hours I spent with you That lovely afterglow Most of all I miss you so Your sweet caresses each rendezvous Your voice so soft and low Most of all I miss you so You once filled my heart With no regrets no tears Now you'll find my heart Filled to the top With tears I'll always want you And love you too How much you'll never know most of all, I miss you so. Dum 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 dee dum 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 dee dum. You once filled my heart with no regrets, no fears, and now you find my heart filled to the top. Never know most of all. I miss you so. Oh. Shabbat shalom. What are you guys? Are you guys doing like dating online? What is going on here? What is going on here? Bottomless Long Island Tea. Hmm. Hmm. Welcome. Shabbat Shalom. Okay. Hey, Rabbi Anthony. I see you here. Rabbi Mark. Um, all these rabbis. Thank you. Um, thank you. Thank you, um, Tucson Jim and everybody. Listen. Okay, so now you're on this new uh, page. All right. Reach out. There are these social, me uh, social sharing icons right above me. Reach out. Click your face. It'll link. It should link to your Facebook, and uh, you know, and click it. 
and say, come to Shabbat services. Last week, actually, we, we got a bunch of people because I asked you to do that uh, throughout the service, and we got, we got a, bunch more, uh, a lot more viewership. So I would like to ask you to please continue to do that. I have a song called Bottomless Mimosas, but we do not have time for it because it's uh, for us, we're going to bring in Shavuot, and we have a lot to do. We have Yizkor, and uh, we have um, a Torah reading. We're going to read the Ten Commandments, so we get a lot. Thank you, sweet girl. You are a sweet girl. All right. Uh, there we go. You know, when I, I, w I was cold before, now I'm hot. It's, I, the spring is very difficult. It's going to be warm in New York tomorrow, or, or Sunday, I think. It's been like, you know, it's been like 60-something, and then windy, and it's just not, you know, not warm enough. But it's going to cut to, it's going to go from like not quite warm enough to uh, you're going to pass out. So, there you go. Shabbat Shalom, Shabbat Shalom, Pedro, and everybody. Let's do a little bim bomb. There's a um, share that with you. So Sam and Ari, they're wishing you all a happy Shavuot this evening. And that is a uh, mistake that I'd like to get rid of. I don't know how to do that. There we go. Let's get rid of that. All right. It shouldn't be in there. Oh, look at that. Come on, go away. There we go. All right, happy Shavuot. Ari is uh, the dog on the right. Sammy's the dog on the left. And uh, Ari is the one that barks really loudly. And Sammy is the one who sings with me when, he, uh, when he's around. Shabbat Shalom, Joe, in Florida. Shalom, Albert and C. Godsley and um, Dr. Bliss. Dr. Bl you know, at my cardiologist's office, there is, <laughs> you just made me think it's Dr. Bliss. It sounds like Bliss. There's a cardiologist in my, in, this, uh, in my doctor's office. His name is Dr. Hollywood. And I think of that Michael, uh, uh, what's his name? You know, Mike, uh, Back to the Future. I think of that movie that he was in. Anyway, Shabbat Shalom, ladies and gentlemen. Well, it was difficult to come in. Yes, Michal, it needed an email. I'm trying something new. I'm trying to, um, trying to grow the community. So uh, this, is one, this is one way, we, we're, and we're doing all kinds of things. Let's light the Shabbat candles together. Welcome, Michal.
like the Shabbat candles. Baruch Atah Adonai Eloheinu Melech HaOlam Asher Kitshanu B'mitzvotah V'tzihivanu Blessed you, Adonai, our God, ruler of the universe, who commands us to kindle the lights of Shabbat. Yes, Michael J. Fox, thank you. Thank you, sweet girl. Join me for Shalom Aleichem. Shalom Aleichem. Malachi Ashari. Malachi Elion. Malachem <laughs> Malachi Shalom Bless us all with peace, angels of peace, angels of the Most High, the Supreme Kadosh Baruch Hu. Bless uh, all the people in the crazy uh, place uh, that uh, uh, of Iraq where, where um, uh, that group, uh, I'm not even going to name them, is, continues on their horrible journey to do evil things. They will pay the price one day. Believe me, ladies and gentlemen. Chadodi, Nigrat Kala, Rene Shabbat de Kabela, Echadodi, Ligrat Kala, Rene Shabbat de Kabela, Lechadodi, Echadodi, Ligrat Kala, Rene Shabbat de Kabela. Shabbat Shalom. 
Shabbat Nikah All right, ladies and gentlemen, it's time we're going to continue with the Baruch Hu. I will continue with the Baruch Hu. I would like you now to please type in Shabbat Shalom to all of your, uh, all of your fellow um, members of the community. I want to give a shout out to Rabbi Deborah, one of our weeknight um, Mariv leaders, does an amazing job at Sim Shalom. Uh, thank you, Rabbi Deborah. And, um, okay, ready? Type Shabbat Shalom uh, and Chag Sameach if you'd like. Uh, and uh, I will continue with the Baruch Hu. Baruch Adonai Amavorach Leolam Praise be the Lord to whom our praise is due. Praise be the Lord to whom our praise is due now and forever. Shabbat Shalom, uh, Maxis in Georgia. Welcome. Um, oh, oh, it's, it's you, Jeff. You, you're, you're in Maxis. Where is Maxis, Georgia? I, I imagine, is it, is it possibly near Savannah? We drove through Savannah on our way to Florida um, in January. All right, we will continue now with the, um, with the, um, sh let's sing Ahavat, Ahavat Olam. We never do this, and I think we're okay time-wise. Ahavat Olam, Beit Yisrael, Amchavta, Torah u mitzvot, Chukim u mishpati, Otanu limadita Al kein Adonai Eloheinu Shachvenu v'kumenu Nasiach b'chukecha Nismach b'divrei Toratecha U'v'mitzvotecha Le'olam v'el Heim chayinu v'yorech yamenu v'ahem nege yomam v'layla v'yavatecha al tasir mimenu l'olamim baruch adonai ohev amo yisrael Please join with me for the Shema Lord 
is one. Beautiful. I heard you. I felt like we connected. Um, let's join reading the English together. You shall love Adonai your God with all your heart, with all your soul, with all your might. Take to heart these instructions with which I charge you this day. Impress them upon your children. Recite them when you stay at home and when you are away, when you lie down, when you get up. Bind them as a sign on your hand and let them serve as a symbol on your forehead. Inscribe them on the doorposts of your house and on your gates. Thus, you shall remember to observe all my commandments and to be holy to your God. I am Adonai, your God, who brought you out of the land of Egypt to be your God. I am Adonai, your God. Adonai Elohichem Emet. I am the Lord, your God, who is truth. Before we continue with the Chatzikadish, which will take us, of course, to the Amida, a um, public service announcement. Everybody, please use your social media sharing buttons, right? Right above me. And reach out to, um, to your, um, you know, if, if, certainly if you have an account, it goes right, uh, with Ustream, it goes right out, it shouts out to all of your friends on, on, you, on, um, on, um, on Facebook and on Twitter. So please share uh, the fact that we're doing a Yizkor tonight. It's a live uh, Shavuot service at Sim Shalom. And let's reach out to people and bring them in. All right? Thank you very much. Chatzik Kaddish. Yikadal v'yikadash shemei rava V'yom adivrach yimtei V'yom lich malcha utei Chay echon v'yom echon V'vchay d'chol b'ed Yisrael Bagala, bagala, uviz man kariv, himaru amein. Heshem erab amvorach, leolam olol meol maya yitbarach, yitbarach yishtava, yitpaar vitramam yitnasei, vidadar vidale vidalal shemei dekut shabarichu. Le'ela min kol birchata v'shirata Tush b'chata v'nechemata Gam iran ve'olma imaru amen Please rise for the Amida. Let's do this. Adonai sifatai tiftach Ufi Yagid Tehila Techa Eternal God, open my lips that my mouth may declare your glory. Baruch Atadonai Eloheinu, Elohe Avoteinu, Vimoteinu, Elohe Abraham, Elohe Itzhak. Elohe Yaakov, Elohe Sara, Elohe Rivka, Elohe Rachel, Elohe Leah, Ha'el Hagadol, Hagibor, Vanora, El Elyon, Gomel Chasadim Tovim, Vekone Akol, Vizokher Chastei Ovod, Vayimahot, Ume Vigul, Aliv Nevenei Em, Leman Shemo Biahava, Melech Ozer, Moshia, Magain, Ruchat Adonai Magin Avraham Ve'ezra Tzara Ata Gibor Elam Adonai Mechayim Etim Ata Rav Lehoshia Mechalkel Chayim Bechasel Mechayim Etim Berachamim Rabim Somech Noflim ורופאי חולים ומתיר אסורים ומחיי אמונתו לשני עפר מי כמוך בעל גבורות ומי דומה Yeshua, the 
מהמון עצב ואחיות הכל. ברוך אתה אדוני מחיה המתים. We'll pause now for a moment of silent prayer. <coughs> עושה שלום במרומיו, הוא יעשה שלום עלינו ועל כל ישראל, אמרו, אמרו אמן. יעשה שלום, יעשה שלום, שלום עלינו ועל כל ישראל, יעשה שלום. Shalom Aleinu Yal Ko Yisrael Yal Ko Yoshvei Tevei Yimru Amen May the Maker of Peace up above bring peace to us to all Jerusalem to all um all of Israel, to all the peoples throughout the world. We join together and we say, Amen. Amen. Excellent. All right, so now tonight, because it is, we're, um, we're, we're welcoming Shavuot, we do a little Hallel. A little Hallel. What is this? Get that text out of there. Goodbye. Go away. There we go. All right. Baruch atah Adonai Eloheinu melech haolam Asher gidshanu b'mitzvotav V'tsivanu Likra Et ha-halel Praise be to you Adonai our God Sovereign of the universe Who hallows us with mitzvot Commanding us to sing psalms of praise. So what does that mean, ladies and gentlemen? What, what are we talking about? Where is this? Well, there's a, a book of psalms, and they are attributed to King David. Of course, uh, modern scholars will say that maybe, some of them. But by and large, many of them were not written by King David, according to modern scholarship. But the tradition is all of the psalms, the book of psalms, were ascribed to King David, and, um, and they were very musical. And we sing these, uh, uh, the psalms when we have a festival. Uh, for Passover, for Shavuot, and for Sukkot. We sing in the, them on Hanukkah. We sing them on Rosh Chodesh. You know, when we bring in the new, new moon. So, they are beautiful. We're going to do one, one psalm from uh, among all of the psalms that you would do normally. It's called... Adonai Zacharnu Yivarech. No, Adonai Zacharanu. Adonai Zacharanu? Adonai Zacharanu Yivarech. Yeah, Adonai Zacharanu Yivarech. How's that for an intro? Two. Oh, one, two, three. Yivarech et beit Adon Israel. Yivarech et beit Aharon. This is a folk melody. Yivarech. Yirei Adonai HaKetanim Im HaGadolim 
יוסף אדוני עליכם, עליכם מי אבניכם, ברוכים אתם לאדוני, עושה שמיים בארץ השמיים, שמיים לאדוני. הארץ נתן לבני אדם, לא המתים, יא הללויה. ולא כל יודעי דומה, ואנחנו נברך יד, מעטה ויד עולם, מעטה ויד עולם. Michal, Michal, is that the melody that you sing in Germany? I'm just wondering. La, da, 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 da. Rabbi Anthony, is that the melody you sing in the UK? Just an ethnomusicologist question. Um, okay, and while you think about that, let's read the translation. Adonai is mindful of us. God will bless us. God will bless the house of Israel. God will bless the house of Aaron. God will bless... Those who fear Adonai, small and great alike, may Adonai increase your numbers, yours, and your children's also. May you be blessed by Adonai, maker of heaven and earth. The heavens belong to Adonai, but the earth God gave over to humans. The dead cannot praise Adonai, nor can any who go down in silence. But we will bless Adonai now and forever. Hallelujah. Yes? Oh, okay. Very, very cool. Very cool that they sing that melody in the UK. And Germany? What, where do they sing? All right. Torah service. Yes, we come to the Torah service. We have to move along tonight, ladies and gentlemen. Join with me. Let's take out the Torah. Everybody come on up to the Bima. Vayahi bin soah ha'aron vayomer Moshe Kuma Adonai ve'avutu o'evecha ויאנוסו מסעניך מפניך כי מציון תצא תורה כי מציון תצא תורה ודבר אדוני מירושלים ברוך שנתן תורה תורה ברוך שנתן תורה תורה לעמו ישראל בקדושתו. מיכל, please open the ark. Thank you. All right. Barbara, take out the Torah. Very good. Give it to Jana. Jana and sweet girl. Very good. You're holding the Torah. Here we go. When we're going to sing, uh, this is... Um, Uh, uh, this is Adonai, Adonai El Rachum V'chanun. This is a melody that we sing, which talks about the attributes of God. Uh, uh, according to Jewish tradition, when Moses came down after, after God took out all the, all the disbelievers who, who created the golden idol, uh, Moses said, Adonai, a great compassion, gracious, slow to anger. This was, of course, after he took out all the, the disbelievers. But... That being said, it's a beautiful piece of text, beautiful piece of liturgy. Sing with me. Another folk melody. Only on the festivals and on the high holidays, actually. Adonai, Adonai, El Rachum Mechanu, Erech Apayim, Verav Chesed V'yemet, Notzer Chesed L'Alafim, Adonai, Adonai, a God compassionate, gracious, slow to anger, abounding in kindness and faithfulness, extending kindness to the thousandth generation, forgiving iniquity, transgression, and sin in granting pardon. All right, now we are Jenna and Sweet Girl. You got the Torah? Here we go. Michal, close the ark, please. Very good. Here we go. 
Shema Yisrael Adonai Eloheinu Adonai Echad Echad Eloheinu Gadol Adoneinu Kadosh Shemo Kadlul Adonai Ti Onerau Meba Shemo Yachtau Here we go, we're processing. Jana, sweet girl, here we go. Uh, Torah, 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 Tiva Lanu Moshe. Torah, 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 Tiva Lanu Moshe. Torah, 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 Tiva Lanu Moshe. Torah, Torah. All right, put the Torah down. Jana, sweet girl. I can't, I can, I remember your names, right? It's really good. Put the Torah down. Thank you very much. All right, there it is. There it is. We're now going to read the Ten Commandments. I'm going to ask all of you to please rise and uh, imagine that we are at the, uh, at the foot of Mount Sinai when the divine revelation uh, occurred, when God gave the children of Israel the Torah, the Ten Commandments. Uh, now wait, before we do that, before we do that, okay, before we get these, it is appropriate for us to just say a few words about how much uh, grateful we are, how much we revere Adonai for giving us the Torah. That comes to us in the form of an acrostic poem that was written in the, uh, uh, like the 10th century, I believe. Akdamut. And it was written by a, a, I think it was the 10th century, let me see. Um, yes, I was correct. Akdamut. It's, um, it's a prominent Aramaic liturgy, oh, sorry. <laughs> let me share that with you. Liturgical poem. Uh, recited on Shavuot by Ashkenazi Jews, exactly where we're doing, placing it in the service before we read the service, before we make the bracha even, uh, for, for reading the, um, uh, for the first aliyah. And um, it consists of praise for God, His Torah, and His people. Boy, it, it's more than that. It's a very dense, it gets very esoteric, it's very, it's very kissy-kissy. And, but it, it, gets, it gets esoteric and the, the language is dense and difficult to pronounce because it's in Aramaic. But I'm going to do a couple of sentences for you. Ready? Now let me get my face out of there. Here we go. So this is an excerpt. Mm-hmm. Deftach benak shuta, bivare devare vitare, ade le kashi tuta, givuran al min le velasi peik peri shuta, givil ilur kie, kene kol hur shata. I don't have the translation here, but basically he says, let me start off with just a few words. Just a few words about how milin, akdamut milin, a few words, visharut shuta, uh, about of honor and respect for Adonai. And he, 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 he gives you a lot more than a few words. Trust me. Um, so um, he was long-winded. And, um, but it's, it's, you know, it's beautiful. The tradition is beautiful. So now, please join with me as we do the blessing before the Torah reading. Baruch Hu et Adonai hamavorach. Baruch Adonai Amavorach Leolam Ba'ed Baruch Adonai Eloheinu Melech HaOlam Sherbachar Banu Mikol Amim Venatan Lanu Et Torato Baruch Ata Adonai Notena Torah Alright, so it's appropriate now that you all rise as I chant the Ten Commandments, the Aseret Hadibrot. Interestingly enough, they occur two places in the Torah. And in the first place, it's in Yitro, in the, in the chapter that it talks about Jethro, who was Moses' father-in-law, who was not a Jew, didn't become a Jew. Um, but he was a wise man. 
and a good father-in-law, and he helped Moses unbelievably because he said, look, Moses, you can't do all this stuff. You got to delegate. He was, all, he, was, he was like Ronald Reagan. <laughs> and um, so um, that's what happens. But the, the, the interesting thing is that in that chapter, which was, uh, you know, titled Jethro, Yitro, Moses' father-in-law, we have the Ten Commandments. So that says something very beautiful, I believe, for, uh, for the interfaith community. Here we go. By Daber Elohim et Kolo Advarima el Alemor, Anochi Adonai Elohecha, Asher Tseti Chamer Mitzrayim mi Beit Avadim. I am the Lord your God who took you out of the land of Egypt, out of the house of bondage. Lo Yiel Chalohim Acherim al Ponai, shall not have the gods of others in my presence. Lo Tase Elcha Pesel Vechol Tumuna Asher Bashamayim Ima Alvi Asher Baaretz Mitachat, Vasher Bamayim Mitachat La Aretz. You shall not make for yourself a graven image or any likeness which is in the heavens above, which is on the earth below, or which is in the water beneath the earth. You shall not bend down before those idols, nor worship them, for I, the Lord your God, I'm a zealous God who visits the iniquity of the fathers upon the sons, upon the third and the fourth generation of those who hate me. And I perform loving kindness to thousands of generations, to those who love me and to those who keep my commandments. Lo tisa et shem Adonai Elohecha lashav ki lo yinake Adonai et asher yisa et shemo lashav. You shall not take the name of the Lord your God in vain, for the Lord will not hold blameless anyone who takes his name in vain. Zachor et yom hashabat lekadisho. Remember the Sabbath day to sanctify it. Sheishet yamim tavod v'yasita kol melechtecha. Six days may you work and perform all your labor. But the seventh day is a Sabbath to the Lord your God. You shall perform no labor, neither you, your son, your daughter, your manservant, your maidservant, your beast, nor your stranger. Who is in your cities? Kishe shed yamim asadonai et ashamayim viet haaretz et hayam viet kol asher ba baya vayinach vayom ashvii et kain berach adonai et yom ashabat vayikat shehu. For in six days the Lord made the heaven and the earth, the sea and all that is in them, and God rested on the seventh day. Therefore the Lord blessed the Sabbath day and sanctified it. Honor your father and your mother in order that your days be lengthened on the land that the Lord your God is giving you. You shall not murder. You shall not commit adultery. You shall not steal. You shall not bear false witness against your neighbor. You shall not covet your neighbor's house. You shall not covet your neighbor's wife, his manservant, his maidservant, his ox, his donkey, or whatever belongs to your neighbor. All right, ladies and gentlemen, you may be seated, <laughs> okay? You may be seated. And now, uh, it's a tradition that uh, before we get to the Yizkar, and we have to move quickly, uh, it's a tradition to have a tikkun, la'el shavuot, to study um, or, uh, or an order. Actually, I think it means order, tikkun. Uh, tikkun la'el shavuot, uh, uh, an order, a study for the evening of shavuot. And let me, let's, I'm going to, I want to explain all this to you. I'm going to explain to you wh what, what Kabbalah is. I'm going to get this all in in like four minutes. Ready? Here we go. All right. 
So read, read, only get me out of here for now. Ready? You can read with me. This is a, this is a midrash. This is a midrash. And it says that in, it's said that at midnight, on the night of Shavuot, the skies part. And the glory of heaven is, this is a midrash about why we have a study session all night on Shavuot. It's said that midnight on the night of Shavuot, the skies part and the glory of heaven is revealed. Then anyone who makes a wish at that instant will have that wish come true. That is why students stay up all night studying the Torah, so that they will be awake when the skies part and be worthy of viewing God's glory at that instant. Just as the parting of the Red Sea is the key moment of the Exodus celebrated at Passover, so the folk tradition of the parting of the heavens at midnight is linked with Shavuot. The possibility of this miracle taking place is intended to motivate everyone to stay up all night studying. Shavuot represents the day the Torah was given, which was a defining moment in the history of Judaism. It was a Kabbalistic custom to study the entire night of Shavuot. The text that is traditionally studied is the Zohar, the central text of Jewish mysticism. And the whole night of study is regarded as a ceremony of purification. The culmination of this ceremonial study is the revelation that takes place at the instant the skies open, revealing the glory of the Shekhinah to those worthy of seeing it. This miracle of the sky's opening is also found as a theme in Jewish folklore, in which wishes are often made at the instant the skies open. These wishes, of course, always come true. All right, ladies and gentlemen, I'm going to move fast. I have to. So what we just read uh, was the origin of the, of the, of the Zohar, uh, of, uh, which, is the, which is the precursor to the um, to the Kabbalah uh, is, is built around Shavuot. I'm going to talk to you about that now. The Zohar. The Zohar is a foundational work in the literature of Jewish mystical thought. This is from Wikipedia. Um, and um, it is a group of books including commentary on the mystical aspects of the Torah, the five books of Moses, and scriptural interpretations as well as material in the Zohar. There's material on mysticism, mystical cosmogony, yes, it's G, a hard G, cosmogony, and mystical psychology. The book of the Zohar is a very esoteric book. The Zohar consists of a discussion of the nature of God, the origin and the structure of the universe, the nature of souls, redemption, the relationship of ego to darkness, and the true self to the light of God, the relationship between the universal energy and man. So, what am I saying, ladies and gentlemen? You should all note that perhaps modern age, modern new age mysticism, you know, you ever go on in those rock stores and energy and all that stuff? Uh, healing stories, energy healing, aromatherapy, you name it. Well, they all have roots, at least some roots, in the Zohar, the Book of Splendor. Its scriptural and mystical exegesis can be considered an esoteric form of rabbinical legend, rabbinical literature known as Midrash. It's almost, it, it, it works alongside Mid, Midrash. Rav Papa said that uh, Moses, the letters flew off the Torah and, and the Torah fell because, it, because of what the people, children of Israel did. That's the Midrash. The Zohar might say, oi, but Moses felt in his heart, his heart exploded because, I mean, it, it goes deeper and it's very esoteric. Okay, you get it? The book of the Zohar first appeared in Spain in the 13th century and was, posed, and was published by a, um, a, a writer named Moses de Leon. De Leon said, well, I didn't write it. It came from the second century from during the Roman, Roman persecution from a Rav Shimon bar Yochai who, according to legend, hid in a cave for 13 years studying the Torah and was inspired by the prophet Elijah to write the Zohar. However, however, um, modern academic analysis of the book of the Zohar has theorized that De Leon 
really was the actual author, which was the 10th century. All right? There are people of, rel uh, of religions besides Judaism, or even those with no religious affiliation, who delve into the Zohar out of curiosity. Okay? There are. That's, that, that speaks to all of the, the New Age uh, developments, all the New Age, um, uh, I, don't, I guess they're religions, or New Age ways of, of, of trying to understand the divine. Yes? Um, and, um, and they're looking, there's people, everybody's looking for meaningful and practical answers about the meaning of their lives. So cut to the 16th century, Rabbi Isaac Luria was the, a Jewish mystic in Safat in Israel, and he's considered the father of Kabbalah. And what was his central text? The Zohar. Cut to 2015 the Kabbalah Institute and trying to find ways for people to improve themselves, to be better, to find a connection to the divine. This is the connection that we have in the Jewish tradition. But I just want to conclude with Rabbi Isaac Luria. His great thesis was the idea, he brought three central themes into Kabbalistic thought. He brought the idea of Tzimtzum, uh, Shavirat HaKelim, and tikkun. This is the idea, tzimtzum, is the idea of um, the process by which God withdrew into his own essence and created an area because God was everywhere. So God withdrew into God's self and created an area for creation. In so doing, there was a, a shattering of holy vessels. And those vessels are shattered and it's our mission to find the pieces, the shards, and put them together and restore the holy vessels. And in such a way, we will reach the age of the Messiah, Mashiach. That's a loose, trend, a loose um, interpretation, but that's what it's all about. So there you have it. The history, all linked to Shavuot. Unbelievable, yes? Let's do the Torah blessing. Let's do, do the Torah blessing after the reading. Baruch ata Adonai Eloheinu melech haolam Sheh natan lanu tarat emet Vechaye olam nata betocheinu Baruch ata Adonai Noten haTorah All right, ladies and gentlemen, um, I would like, um, um, let me see, who is here? Rabbi Mark, I'd like you to hold the Torah, please, for the Yizkor service. All right, for the Yizkor service. Rabbi Mark, I know you lost your mother a few weeks ago, and uh, perhaps this will grant you a measure of comfort. So you're holding the Sefer Torah, and we begin our Yizkor Memorial Service. Ma Adam Vateda Eheu Beninash Vatichash Feu Adam La Hevel Dama Yamav could sail over. Ma bokir yotzit v'chalaf Lo erev yimolel V'yovesh Everyone please rise. Adonai, read with me, please, everyone. Adonai, what are we that you have regard for us? What are we that you are mindful of us. We are like a breath. Our days are as a passing shadow. We come and go like grass, which in the morning shoots up renewed, and in the evening fades and withers. You cause us to revert to dust, saying, Return, O mortal creatures. Would that we were wise, that we understood where we were going. For when we die, we carry nothing away. 
Our glory does not accompany us. Mark the wholehearted and behold the upright. They shall have peace. Adonai, you redeem the soul of your servants, and none who trust in you shall be desolate. Please read with me, ladies and gentlemen, the Psalm of David. Adonai is my shepherd. I lack nothing. God makes me lie down in green pastures. God leads me to water in places of repose. God renews my life. God guides me in right paths as befits God's name. Though I walk through a valley of deepest darkness, I fear no harm, for you are with me. Your rod and your staff, they comfort me. You spread a table for me in full view of my enemies. You anoint my head with oil. My drink is abundant. Only goodness and steadfast love shall pursue me all the days of my life. And I shall dwell in the house of Adonai for many long years. Sinai El Hari Me Ayin Me Ayin Yavuzi Sinai El Hari Me Ayin Me Ayin Yavuzi Ezri Me Madonna O se shamay maharets Ezri mei madonai O se shamay maharets Read with me the translation of that song I turn my eyes to the mountains, from where will my help come? My help comes from Adonai, maker of heaven and earth. God will not let your foot give way. Your guardian will not slumber. See, the guardian of Israel neither slumbers nor sleeps. Adonai is your guardian. Adonai is your protection at your right hand. By day the sun will not strike you, nor the moon by night. Adonai will guard you from all harm. God will guard your life. Adonai will guard your going and your coming, now and forever. At this time, we continue with the silent Yizkor service. Please insert the names of those you would like to remember. God remember forever our brothers and sisters of the house of Israel who gave their lives for the sanctification of the divine name. May they be at one with the one who is life eternal. May the beauty of their lives shine forevermore. In my life, may my life always bring honor to their memory. And now the El Mole Rachamim, the traditional prayer of mourning.
אל מולי רחמים, שוכי במרומים. המצאי מנוחה נכונה, תחת כנפי השכינה. עם קדושים וטהורים לזוהר הרקיעה Lamy it's Fully compassionate God on high, to our loved ones who have entered eternity, grant clear and certain rest with you in the lofty heights of the sacred and the pure, whose brightness shines like the very glow of heaven. Source of mercy, forever enfold them in the embrace of your wings. Secure their souls in eternity. Adonai, They are yours. May they rest in peace. Amen. Please join with me in the rising of the sun and in its going down. We remember them. In the blowing of the wind and in the chill of winter, we remember them. In the opening of buds and in the rebirth of spring, we remember them. In the blueness of the sky and in the warmth of summer, we remember them. In the rustling of the leaves and in the beauty of autumn, we remember them. In the beginning of the year and when it ends, we remember them. When we are weary, and in need of strength, we remember them. When we are lost and sick at heart, we remember them. When we have joys we yearn to share, we remember them. So long as we live, they too shall live, for they are now a part of us as we remember them. Please read the Mourner's Kaddish with me, everyone. Yit gadal v'yit gadash shemei rabah Be'alma divra chirute v'yamlich malchute B'chaye chon v'yome chon v'chaye d'chol b'et Yisrael Ba'agala u'vizman kariv v'imru, amen Yehe shemei rabah mavorach li'alam ulol me'omaya Yit barach v'yishtabach v'yit pa'ar v'yit ramam v'yit naseh v'yit hadar v'yit ale v'yit halal shemei dekudisha berichu le'ela min kol birchata v'shirata tush bechata v'nechamata da'amiran ba'alma v'imru Amen Yehe shlama raba min shemaya v'chayim aleinu Yal kol Yisrael v'imru, amen. Ose shalom v'imromav, hu yase shalom. Aleinu v'yal kol Yisrael v'imru.
Amen. We'll pause for a moment, a moment of silent prayer. I got to tell you, when I read the names of, of that you you all typed in there, <laughs> my heart was breaking. This is this is such a miracle what we do here. <laughs> it's so amazing. What a blessing. What a blessing. Okay, we continue now. We return the Torah. Rabbi Mark, please uh, continue. Hold the Torah. Yalalu et shem Adonai ki nizgav shemo levado Hodo al eretz v'shamayim Vayarem keren le'amo Tehila lechol chasidav Livnei Yisrael am kerovo Hallelujah, hallelujah Place the Torah into the ark Yitzchayim hi Lema chazikim ba Tom Cheha Mehushar Durachaha Darche Noam Echol Tivoteha Shalom Shivenu Adonai Elecha Vinashuva Kadish Kadish Yamenu Rabbi Deborah, close the doors to the ark. Jonathan, help. Close the doors to the ark. Beautiful, beautiful. Thank you, everyone who participated in the, in the Torah service. And um, now we're going to basically conclude, we're going to conclude this evening with the community blessing each other. All right? We're going to use the threefold benediction. Everybody join with me. Yevarechecha Adonai v'yishmerecha. Ya'er Adonai panav elecha v'yichunecha. Yisa Adonai Panav Eilecha Vyasem Lecha Shalom Dear Sim Shalomers, people around the world, people who view this later, people who just get it because the energy is out there. May Adonai bless you and keep you. May Adonai make his face shine upon you and be gracious unto you. May Adonai lift up Adonai's face to you. Grant you peace. And we say, Amen. Ladies and gentlemen, I want to wish you all um, a Chag Sameach, a Shabbat Shalom, and I wish, you, um, I wish you blessings of comfort, those of you who have come through Yizkor. I wish you blessings of joy, those of you who will celebrate Shavuot and Shabbat. And um, God willing, I will see you next Saturday excuse me, <laughs> next Friday. Our rabbis uh, will be with you Monday through Thursday. God bless you all. Thank you for joining this evening for our service. God bless you all, and good night. And, of course, don't forget Memorial Day, as, as Rabbi Mark said. <laughs> okay, I just saw that. That's true, of course. Shabbat Shalom. Hag Sameach.